What's your one word going to be for the new year? My name's Anna Lundberg. I'm the founder of One Step Outside, author of Leaving the Corporate 9 to 5 and host of the Reimagining Success podcast. And this idea of having one word or a phrase, a concept, a theme for the new year is something I came across many years ago as I was navigating my career and lifestyle change and it instantly appealed to me. I've seen many times the statistic which I'm sure is numerically perhaps not so accurate but the statistic nonetheless that 8% of people who set those dreaded New Year's resolutions will actually achieve them and that's not even considering of course the people who don't even set resolutions or goals at all. Inevitably, I think those resolutions aren't meaningful. We haven't really thought about, you know, what exactly is it about this goal, losing weight, going to the gym or changing job, da da da, that's so meaningful for us. We haven't committed to it and so on. There's all sorts of reasons and that's the topic for another time. The idea of a theme though, of this word or phrase is really appealing to me and I hope you'll find it powerful as well if it's something you haven't come across before. So it's really having something that's clear enough to guide you, to help you make decisions, maybe make some priority calls between different things during the year on the one hand, but also at the same time, it's loose enough, it's flexible enough that it gives you some room for maneuver when things are never to be changed during the year. So it gives you that guiding light without restricting you or, or being too specific. So what is a theme? Well, there are all sorts of course phrases and there's no right or wrong answer here. So really feel what is intuitively right for you, instinctually, the, the word, the phrase that comes up for you. There are exercises we can do and we'll be talking more on, on the podcast on Thursday. So do search Reimagining Success on your favourite podcast app and check out the new episode that's coming out on Thursday on New Year's Eve. So maybe you don't need to check it out when it's live on that day. But of course, um, going forwards, then, then have a listen and see if that might be more helpful. But it could be something like bold decisions. First things first, being proactive, or being active, being physically active, being intentional, purpose. So you can see how it can be all sorts of things, consistency, focus, getting help. What is it that's going to be most meaningful to you? And again, there are exercises we can do, but I like to let it just kind of come to me. So again, we talked last week about how we can make the most of the holidays. Hopefully now, even if you're not sitting at your desk working away on your business or your or your job, you can, in between uh, Christmas pudding and, and whatever else you're getting up to, in between board games and so on, you can allow these words to sort of play on your mind and see what feels right to you. So again, the benefit is that you get that guiding light, the path, the indication to help you go, okay, well, but my focus is really being externally focused. So between these two or three things that I'm juggling at the moment, it's more important to do this, to speak at this event, to pitch the media, to run some Facebook ads. That's more important than sort of being internally focused and focusing on this, that and the other. Or it could be team. Maybe it's time for you to begin outsourcing and getting help and so on. So again, I encourage you to try the exercise, enjoy the exercise. If you do want more guidance, then join me on the podcast episode on Thursday. But in the meantime, of course, I wish you a wonderful end to this year, 2020. And I can't wait to see you again in the new year, 2021. Thanks so much for listening and I'll see you next week, next year. Bye for now.